The number one reason that I do value studies is to simplify the subject. So it helps me to look beyond the objects and colors and to focus on values and try to group them together. For example, in this value study, I have grouped together similar tones, similar tonal values. So it's not about the boat, the jetty or the reflections. It's about combining similar values together and trying to simplify the whole subject. So this helps to come up with a better composition for my paintings. Another reason that I do value studies is to compare various tonal arrangements and to come up with a final composition for my painting. This is normally referred as thumbnail sketches. So here I have uh, tried four different uh, tonal arrangements uh, and uh, I kind of like this one much better than the other three. So I will stick with this for my painting. So the third reason I do value studies is to decide whether to proceed further and create a painting out of it or not. For example, sometimes the subject looks so dramatic and interesting, but the moment that you do the value study, it kind of falls flat. A good example is this value study and the reference photo is over here. So as you can see, the reference photo is very interesting. I thought I could come up with a nice painting out of this, but the value study showed me that it's not the case. So the rule of thumb I follow is, if the value study is not good, the painting will not be. If you are not satisfied with the value study, no matter what you do with the colors, it's not going to come up with a nice painting. Thank you.